but at 22.50 hours on April the 30th, 1945, men of the 1st Battalion of the 756th Rifle Regiment planted the red flag on the roof of the Reichstag. Adolf Hitler had already killed himself in his chancellery bunker. The death of Hitler was not the end of the Battle of Berlin. From Hitler's bunker, Joseph Goebbels and General Krebs, the German chief of staff, won a brief local truce to discuss the terms of surrender and deluded themselves that they had a right to be treated as a government. Meanwhile, bitter fighting continued to rage as pockets of defenders fought to the end or battle groups tried to break out through Russian lines. On the afternoon of May the 1st, Russian patience ran out. At 6.30 p.m., every gun, mortar and rocket launcher in Berlin opened fire on the Chancellery and the last pockets of German resistance. The following morning, at 6 a.m., General Wiedling, commander of the Berlin defenders, surrendered to the Russians. He was allowed to dictate a signal to be sent to all German forces in the city, ordering them to lay down their arms. At 3 p.m. on May the 2nd, the Russian guns fell silent. staggering toll in human life. Hitler's refusal to surrender before the final cataclysm cost the Red Army 305,000 casualties, the worst losses it had suffered in any battle of the war. The number of German military dead is unknown, but of the civilian population of Berlin, 125,000 perished. Many more had been wounded, raped, or driven insane by the hell around them. On May the 8th, 1945, Germany formally surrendered to the Allies. Accepting on behalf of the Soviet Union was Marshal Zhukov, victor of the Battle of Berlin. With his conquest of the German capital, Zhukov was delivering to Stalin not just a final and historic victory over Nazi Germany, but the key to a future Soviet empire in Central and Eastern Europe. The war was over. Hitler was dead, and the Third Reich had been utterly destroyed. However, in the Battle of Berlin, the seeds of a new conflict had already been sown. A conflict between East and West that would divide Europe and the world for two generations. <laughs> 